Well, you know, I, I think I've droned on long enough. I just heard what happened. I wanted to offer my condolences to the team. Quark's loss is a true tragedy. The man was a hero. Brave, honest, kind, and humble to the core. <laughs> what a load of bullsh. Hello, here's Matthew 347. This time playthrough of Dark Souls. And last time we went through the depths. And for our first enemy NPC, I uh, threw mishaps along the way, but it's all was out in the end. Now we fought against a gaping dragon and got us with the key to the dreaded blight town. But off screen, so I see where there was a way back, and yeah, there is. But I'm kind of glad I did go the way back, because I got some nice items. Do you know those weird flan blob things? They don't just drop green titanite shards, they also drop large titanite shards, which I use to upgrade my sword further. I returned, off screen, also returned the ember to the blacksmith. You need to see that. Does any MB like this return to respect a blacksmith or smith says there's more than one? We will get to that later. And I've already showed you where he was, so there's no point in me showing that on screen. But it allows you to upgrade your weapons a bit more. But you need a special time knight. You see, upgrade weapons will go up between... Uh, let's see, maximum is 15. And uh, tight, so the first five is tight knight shard. Then I think it's 6 to 10, it's large tight knight shard. Then, uh, I think it's um, 10 to 14, it's Titanite Chunk, and then you need a Titanite Slab. Slabs are very hard to come by. But here we go. So if you rescue this guy, he'll come rescue you, stay here from now on. And he'll become a new vendor of sorts. So, let's go talk to him. Well, I see you made it out. Yeah, I, I made it out safely too. I have my Pyromancy of the Great Swamp, so... I can use your manage with a bit of care. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, I can share my spells with you. I think you have a knack for it, all you need are the materials. I'll be pleased to help you. Ah, and unless you find the magics unsavory? Eh, uh, no. Yeah, wonderful. I'm sure that you know, they'll be of some use, some assistance. Well, let's get started right now. Okay, so, um... If you didn't already have, um... The Pymenti Flame, he'll give you one for free. Yeah. But here we go. Here's the new spells we get now. Uh, let's see. We uh, guess we have a look through some of these. Iron Flesh. Yeah, I increase your defenses. That helps you reduce fire damage. I could have it to use it as well. Combustion is nice because um, just a short burst of fire from the hand, but it has a lot of uses, so that's cool. And then there's also a fire orb. It's pretty expensive though. Also, you can modify the pyromancy flame. All you need is souls to upgrade it to let your fire do more damage. That's literally it. Not like in Dark Souls 2, where you actually to get these fire seeds or something. <laughs> but anywho. Okay then, so let's get a fireball first. Let's get another one of those. Uh, let's see, combustion. What the heck not? Hmm. Uh, iron flesh and flash threat. I guess I can get those a bit later. Hmm. Should I get that now? Also, um, the slots. Some magic spells may take more than one slot. That just says one at the moment. But uh, you might get magic slots to take a lot more. So, yeah, that's the other reason. Hmm. I guess I can get used to follow a bit later, I suppose. Because I will upgrade, modify uh, this for a bit. Let's have a look. There we are. That's good for the moment. Hmm. Pyromancy is the art of casting fire. Produce flame, then channel it. Just as our ancestors did. A pyromancer must be in tune with nature herself. My home, the Great Swamp, is an abundant store of nature. You will understand one day. It only takes time. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Also, you may have noticed something else. These people, what are they doing here? 
Well, if you talk to them, they'll actually uh, sort of explain, as it were. Hmm? Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Times are grim. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. <laughs> oh, hello. My guests have finally arrived. I will be departing with them shortly. So, I'm afraid I will be saying goodbye soon. It was a pleasure. You are undead as well? Then we've no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. You can actually talk to um, other NPCs when they arrive to... I accidentally did that off screen and talked to them, but you can do it if you want. And they just mentioned about that girl and what a terrible things she has to do and all that. But I do, I guess now I can show you about the tuning magic. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just go to any bonfire, go to a tuning magic, and then you can add them up here, so. So let's have a look, see. Let's see, a fireball and combustion. Pretty simple, really. But yeah, now, uh, with this increases, my fireballs should now be able to do some more damage. So that's pretty cool, useful. Oh, hello. Well, you certainly are keeping at it. Myself, I'm fine. Let's get started straight away. But you can talk to him and purchase stuff if you want to. Goodbye then. Do so the funny thing is though, since I still have 10 intelligence, I could actually use basic sorcery. But I'm not going to do that for this playthrough, but you can if you want. Let's press the upper to change your buttons and stuff. Uh, I have 16 fireballs because I already got fireballs before. It just adds to it. It doesn't have like eight fireballs separately. That doesn't. That wouldn't make any sense. So now I have the 16s. That's cool. And then a few more um, souls. I'd actually uh, upgrade my parents here a little bit more. However, though, Blight Town is a pretty brutal place. Now there are two ways you can actually go. I'm going to go the legitimate way, unfortunately. But if you want to go the other way, what you can do is go down here. And remember to the left we saw that zombie dragon? Well, to the right, before we took the fork, um, before left was the zombie dragon, you can go to the cut straight through Blight Town. If you only do this though, you have the master key. If not, then yeah, forget about it, it's not going to work for you. <laughs> Don't worry, there is a way around there, because there's actually a key you can get in there that lets you unlock the other side. You have to go the real long way around if you do have the master key. But I'll always show you off anyway, because there's some good stuff you can get from there. So, what I'm going to do now off screen is go all the way back towards the Blight Town door. I've already shown you where it is, but if you're not sure again, it's right next to that merchant where I got that pine mitten from. So, I will see you guys then. Okay, I am back. But here's this guy again. Hi, Shaman. We meet. I'm not sure he has anything new, but uh, over time. You can actually buy certain items from him, which are from other bosses. But well, that is a shame. But no matter. No, not to worry. Come back again. I'm always available. Okay. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us someday, sometime. <laughs> Anywho, though. Let me ignore that. Wait a minute. I don't trust you. Okay, anywho. So you go back here, where the Blight Town, uh, where the entrance is. Once you have the Blight Town key, we can open it. You're probably wondering why they changed my crew back to my, well, this stuff. Well, this stuff has high resistance from poison, so we don't get toxic as much. However, though, I do have slightly less defenses, but it's only slightly, so it's a calculated risk. Here we go. Here is Blight Town. Not looking forward to this. Oh boy. Remember what I told you about the moss? Oh no. Really? It's not the craziest idea. Hmm. Dare I summon? It could make things easier. I leave it on the back burner for now. But, uh. If I die too many times and that summons there. Then I'll summon him. I'll try and do a solo first. Okay then, you gotta be careful. You might know these enemies if you're going the alternate way. But these guys, ugh, they're the worst. They suck. Oh 
These enemies right here. There we go. I'm trying to get a good lock on him. What? What? <laughs> he killed himself! What a dumbass! I was trying to lock onto him, then he used a fireball to finish him off. Huh. Could I do it with all of them? Nah, I couldn't be that easy. Yep. These enemies here can cause toxin with you. That's why the spider shield. Even when I block an enemy attack, they can still get your toxin up super high. So you gotta be careful. And the trick is to lower these assholes one at a time. So it doesn't lower more than one. Okay, it's just this one. That's good enough. What the? Oh, there he is. I wonder if I can try that again. Can I do the same with the other one? Could that be hilarious? <laughs> Let's try it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is this tower. This place is horrible. So I'm finding hope where I can. And that is just funny. Okay. Blight Town, where the frame rate is crap. Now, the worst enemies in the game, or at least this area. are the uh, toxic blue shooters. They suck. They, uh, they, they just suck. Oh yeah, it's a lot of stamina. Now if I didn't have my shield, specifically the toxic shield right there, the toximeter go all the way up. And I would have been like, um, uh, and I would have been poisoned. The spider shield protects you from that. That's what makes it so useful. I hate fighting these guys specifically because, well, you're forced to fight him in this really small, narrow area. I'm just trying to lure you out. There you go. And they have a lot of health too, which sucks. So you really need to start getting a really strong uh, weapon. Hmm. Is he even going to move? Are you serious? You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> He's not even moving. You don't even see me? The other ones did. This is embarrassing now. Uh, there's one very annoying item to get called the Atto, which is a type of katana, and basically it's just a really complicated jump. Now I could try and do the jump first and get to it, but it's a really risky jump. So I'd rather actually uh, find the first bonfire. Where are you going to come towards me? There, yeah, there you go. That wasn't too tough, now was it? Yeah, like you're gonna hit me from here. Let's try this again. Oh my! This is awesome! I did not know they would be this stupid. This is hilarious. Oh, that's new every day. Let's do that then. It's time consuming, but at least it's safer. Well, anyway. Yeah, because there's so many places you can fall down to your death, there's gonna be a few times where, um. You might f randomly get some souls out of nowhere. It's not because you're super lucky or something, it's just that this area is so complicated that even the NPCs are problems flying through. These guys they only have one annoying attack. They have a grab move. You'll know what it means when they growl at you. That's it. That's the only annoying thing about these enemies. They come in numbers and they like to do a growling grab-like attack. 
Actually, some enemies have a... These weapons actually have a variety of weapons. In fact, some even carry, like, souls and stuff. Oh! And he is the bastard right now. This is the toxic bow dart guy. You saw those tiny arrows? Or darts? Yeah, he shoots them. Until you get full of toxic. And it sucks. And now the frame rate is going to crap. Well, we can't hit it to the moment. Oh, that's the grab. When you hear him growl, that's the grab. You can't really block that. That's the asshole right there. But here's the thing you need to know about these guys. Very important. Once you've killed them... Ooh. They are gone forever. And I mean, like, forever, ever. They will never bother you again. What the heck? What's someone trying to do? Hmm. If you hear growling, that's not exactly the best sign. Yep. Exactly what the guy says. There's only like a soul packet here. But we don't have to go back here again. Oh wow. Did I go both of them? I guess it was a saw me from there. Huh. Take your time in Blight Town. Now, why does someone try to invade me? If they do, they're assholes. Because this place sucks. No one likes Blight Town. So, getting invaded is very slim. It can happen, but it's very unlikely. Oh yeah, some of these enemies even attack you with their own like human souls. And these actually, and these guys are trying to actually drop them in dead soul packets because they're actually using them as a weapon. It's a sort of a proud night. But we're going to use one to come down here again if I happen to die. But first of all, let's try and find that bonfire. Also, I uh, bought a uh, map. Because this place sucks. <laughs> and I actually want to be a little prepared. Mm, let's see. Now I grabbed a uh, sort of a proud night. So, let's see. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ah, there we go. But yeah, those toxic guys are the worst. That's why you want the purple cross on them. Some, whatever though, they seem to sometimes actually drop the moss themselves if you kill them. They don't always drop the purple one, the light purple one though, so it's just the purple. Toxic's the worst. They don't see these guys, they can do a lot of damage. Then over that bridge, that is a wickedy bridge. You have a bit of health too. So I'm glad I backtracked all the way here. As I take a caution. Yeah. There was some reason when the enemy go across the bridge. Oh, they're just fine. They, they don't fall to their deaths. There we go. Okay, now the point in question is right there. But it's a very tough jump. You have to actually run off that tiny little plank there at the side and then jump up and get that sword. Well, it's actually a katana. So, first things first, I strongly advise that you actually try to find the um, bonfire first. Yeah, it's annoying. I have to fight these guys again. But it's not all of them. It won't aggro all of them. Okay, let's see. See, I it goes to crap. Oh, come on, really? One more time.
They're not too tough to fight because their moves are too predictable. They're, sort of, they're, a, they're a bit beefy and, well, they come in numbers. So, so you gotta be careful. And the guy shooting darts here just makes things worse. And the crappy frame rate is like the cherry on the cake. I'll be careful. Some of these wooden floors are fake. You see that wooden floor there? You'll fall to your death. Not all of them like that, but some are. Actually, is that actually so? Fall ahead. And it actually warned us. So let's pick it up from there instead. Alright, there's our bonfire right there. Let's be careful with some of the jumps. Yeah, there's so lots of nooks and crannies here. So I'm being careful. I'm not going to get everything in Blight Town today. In fact, I don't even know if I'm going to get to the boss fight because there's so much to do here. It's ridiculous. But. Oh, yes. You saw some of these like, guys in jars. Ignore them. Or if you do want to fight them, just leave them in there. They actually uh, don't get out on their own. Alright, bye. Wait. I mean, you're not dead. Okay, now he's dead. I aggroed that stupid hellhound, didn't I? I did. Uh, looks like I aggro some of these guys. Oh no! This is the same guy! He's not dead! Then I guess it was a different one that died. Okay. <laughs> but that's why you gotta be extra careful here. Some of these places look like you can jump from it, you can't, and uh, it's really confusing. So you gotta be careful. Oh, you as well, huh? Make your mind up. You're going up the ladder or not? Fine, I'll make it for you. Mass. There we go. Just be careful of the fire breathing dogs. Here we go. Here's our bonfire. Found it. Thank goodness for that. Hmm. Something up there too. Yeah, be careful, those guys. They're annoying. They can even. They can also breathe fire. So watch out for that. Wait a minute. Is that actually one of them? No. Yeah, this is what makes this extra annoying. So many wooden planks that just lead to dead ends and stuff. There are a few more of those goblin-like enemies, but they're, they're like a few uh, on the other ways, but they're mostly um, at the bottom. 
Yeah, this is why this place is a little confusing and annoying to get through. Oh, another one killed itself. Nope, never mind. Two killed themselves. So as you see, I'm looking around very carefully for anything I missed. I'm getting you later. Right, here we go. We can walk around here. Forgot. It's a little edgy to get through, but it's actually a pretty nice piece of equipment. Well, it looks nice anyway. That shadow mask gear. Nice. Oh, here we go. There's another salt pack around here, but it's very tricky to get to because you might accidentally. What the? Am I walking on air? Just take it slow. Very, very slow. You can easily fall off here. Alright, got it. Let's get back. Alright. Oh, now for this one, I just need to do a wall of sorts. Or is it a wall or a jump? Oh, okay. Note to self. Ah! Oh, you son of a! Oh, I aggro that guy. Damn it! Stupid. I got that guy. Doesn't matter though. Because we got this. Bonfire lit. Uh, Alright, now to get that weapon. If I can. It's easier said than done. Oh wow, they're killing themselves left and right. Just be careful when you fight some of these guys. Again. And yes, I know about the Firekeeper Soul. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to get it this time, but it's annoying. Basically, it's a Firekeeper Soul which is literally completely guarded by literally a ton of a. Uh, Really? Come on. Come on. I'm right here. That's right. Come down one at a time so I can kill you. Because they're all coming at once. That's, that's very nice of you. Very gracious. Okay. There it is. I think I'm going to make this jump. But the good news is I did activate the bonfire. And that's the important thing. 
You can backstab these guys too. Like so. They didn't see me, did they? Okay. Well, first of all, break off any obstacles that are in the way, like this. Let's get rid of them. I'm just going to get in the way. Then I'm going to try and run all the way from here to there and then make the jump. It's a bit of an invisible wall here. It's quite annoying. Try to make that little plank there and to there, if you can. It's, yeah, it's just frustrating it sounds, guys. It is not fun. It's just, ugh. If I don't make the jump, then I'm going to cut out until I do. Remember, I got rid of that toxic guy over there, so he is not coming back. Hmm, let's see. It's a pretty tight jump. I've got to somehow make it from there to there. Okay, remember, when you're running, tap the circle button again to jump. Make sure you have light equipment or very least so you get equipment as well. So that has any weight. So that way your jump is as high as possible. It's easier said than done. Okay. Let's let's do this. Huh. Yes! Yes, I did it to my first try! <laughs> there we go, the auto. Now it's actually a type of katana. And it can actually do quite a bit of decent damage. I'm not sure that guy fell to his death, that's when I can pick up, but I'm not risking it. Yeah, wait, where do I drop? Yeah, yeah, me too, I did it. It's annoying jumps in the whole game. Uh, let's see. I think I can just wall through here. I think. Yes! Nailed it. Now oh, there was someone shooting at me. Wait, do I go down here? Oh, this place is a bit like a maze. That's what sucks about it. Ah, oh, there's a hellhound there too. I see it. Let's try and lure this guy down here first. There we go. Whoa! So you went up too. Be careful with the hellhounds because um, they can breathe fire at you. There we go. Got you. Okay, the hellhound was down here somewhere. Got ya! Stupid hellhound. Uh, for this one, just take it very, very slowly. Just baby steps. Tiny, tiny steps. Like so. There's a reason for that there. That's for those stupid dark guys. No, come on! Are you kidding me? No! Why? This place sucks! Of all the...
Why would you invade here? You're an idiot. Just... Oh my... This guy's an idiot! No, like... Seriously, how stupid are you? Wait. Idiot. I... I don't even have any words. You're a dumbass, mate. A complete dumbass. Just... I, I, I don't understand why anyone would invade down here. It's... Where is he? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I see you. Oh, what's wrong? You can't reach me? You dumbass. Yeah, yeah, why, 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 why did you shoot me here? You have to play this game, mate. It's a bit unusual. I've never fought an archer before, actually, like this. It's always people who've, who shoot close range. This is quite odd. I'm not going to lie. I never fought anyone. I know people use long range spells and stuff, but not actually, um. That's right. You come to me. Yeah, you come to me, you asshole. You're almost dead anyway. Unless you, did, unless you popped humanity in there. Come on. Yeah, I see you. <laughs> What's he trying to do? He's almost dead. He's way out. He's way going crazy. He's trying to be sneaky. His fire arrows do a lot of damage though, which is surprising because I actually have armor protected specifically against fire. No, 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 no. If you want to fight in Blight Town, I'm going to be a jackass about it. You're an idiot. No, 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 no. You get back here. That's what you get, you dumbass. Long range weapons. Screw you. There we go. And for killing this guy, we have vanquished him. I think we get the souls he carried, and also we get humanity. Pfft. Dumbass boy on himself. I can't believe someone invade in Blight Town. With such a crappy way as this. It defies all logic. Alright. Well, at least I actually showed you a, a proper um, fight now. And only did I actually won. So, yeah, there's, there's that too. So, there you go. That's, that's something. Uh, let's see. Were there any of us I missed? Any soul packets? I've already been here for like a real long time. And I haven't even covered most of it yet. I'm surprised, really surprised, that someone would actually try to invade here. It it boggles the mind that anyone wants to invade this place. Okay, let's have a look. I oh, I see there's a soul packet around here. It's, yeah, it's a bit hard to get to. <laughs> Idiot. Let's see if things around here somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I see it. Hmm, how do I get to that one, though? Oh! <laughs> Oops. I should just drop down here to begin with. My bad. There we go. Uh, this one's a bit of a wall, I think. There we go. All right. Yeah. Good. Hmm. There he is. 
I aggroed him now, so now he's going to keep trying to shoot at me. Yep. Watch out for the hellhounds, they suck. Remember to take cover when needed. You know what, I just realised something. I have completely forgotten... ...to equip... No, not that. My, uh, light purple moss. My blooming purple moss. Gee, that's embarrassing. There we go. Mm, that dark light's around there somewhere. I can just find him. Maybe I could hit him from far away. Or something. They don't have a lot of health. I can't believe someone tried to invade me down here. Let's find that too funny. There we are. Found him. He's... Ah, uh, he's at the corner there. No, I can't reach that. I have to go a long way around. He was just trying to hit me. I aggroed some guys. There they are. What are they doing? Ah! How did... Oh, it's a stupid camera. Oh, it's just... Oh! No! Oh, you piece of shit! There! Got me the toxic. At least you know what toxic's like now. Which is a pain in the ass to get rid of. Ugh. Okay, now uh, this enemy, you can fight from uh, far away if you want. Or you can just go behind him in the wall and kill him. It's your choice. There we go, there's one toxic guy. There's one more toxic person all the way up there. Just need to find the white ladder to get to him. Let's see. One thing you can do is, if you're not sure, is that you could just uh, keep shooting bows at him. Exactly what I'm going to do. This is, why, this is the reason why I have all those uh, poison arrows. There we go.
Really? There we are, that's the poison setting in. Slowly killing him. Yeah, it's, this is the only weird enemy in the game actually that has this. The only other enemies have the only other war enemies like this, it's quite odd. There we go. That's right. So did he die? Good. He's actually protecting a pyromancy. Yeah. So the only way to get certain pyromancy in this game is actually through um. Well, this. I still can't believe we got invaded. Come on. Hurry up and die. Oh, it's got to be at least almost dead. Come on. Oh, it's dead. <sighs> and for doing this, we get the power within. It increases your attack power and uh, stamina recovery, but you slowly drain your health over time. So it's literally a double-edged sword. Now it could go that way. There isn't really much of a point. But we're going up here, because guess what? Here's where the other asshole lives. Yeah, you know. This dumbass blow dark guy. Yeah, now we're going to kill him. Hello, you piece of shit. Bye! Alright. Oh, and all this white with the world. So you can go back down this way, or you go to like the, the other ways. It's like, it's like multiple paths you can take. Oh, no, no, you're not grabbing me. There we go. So yeah, this is pretty much the way you can go to to like get him properly if you want. You just walk down there and then you got him. I don't think there's any items down here though. Not that I know of. Nope, it's just going go and kill him. So you can do that if you want, if you didn't buy any poison arrows and stuff. That's the only war... I don't know what the heck it's called, that war kind of thing you get in the entire game. It doesn't appear again. Maybe it's experimenting. Or, you know, trying to be unique or something. I swear, if I get invaded again in Blight Town of all places, I, pff, I have no idea what I'm going to do. But uh, it's going to be crazy if that will happen again. It doesn't happen again. Okay, let's see. I think there's everything I can get through here for the time being, for the most part. Well, if we go down here, ah, oh, it's this asshole. Ah, oh, 
Come on, really? Oh, they hit. See how hard they hit? Ridiculous. Die! Ugh. Oh. Whoa, I got a large club! Wow. To where I drop. They do a ton of damage and have a lot of health, so you gotta watch out for them. Watch out, that's their grab. At least it's really, at least it's easy choreographed when they growl like that. Okay. Now if you go down here a bit of a shortcut, you can actually get a whip for your efforts. But, uh, it's not really that great. So we're going to go the other way around. You even have to go through this miss specifically, but we're going to go through it anyway to avoid confusion. There we go. Yep, now we're in the next part of this place. Yay! Hmm, I'm trying to get a certain set here. Again, if I do miss anything, I'll just go ahead and get it later. So if I'm not trying to, like, uh, this isn't like a master play for anything, I'm trying to give you the best I can. It's got this dumbass blue dark guy, so that's that. But now we're finding a few new enemies, these insects. Yeah, you see, we're near the bottom now. So. Oh, wait, is that way these the same way anyway? Really? Something here? But what, what the heck? What, what's the point in this then? Huh? See, we're almost to the bottom now. And then there's these guys. They can do a lot of damage, but they're pretty slow and don't do a lot of health. They can also breathe fire at you too. Oh, that's it. Frame rate just gets worse and worse. Hmm. The only way to get the whip is to drop down. There has to be an alternate way. I don't think it matters. Let's have a look. If I die, I die. I just have to go through this part again. The important thing is I got rid of those stupid blow dart guys. They will never come back. So no matter what happens, I don't have to face them again. Now let's see. Let's see. You can drop down just a little bit down there. Okay, let's try it. Bit of a whisk. Yes! Oh, you have to drop down there. Oh, it's an optional. Oh, we have to. Oh, but there's the whip. Yeah, it's as crappy as it sounds. It's not that good of a weapon, quite frankly. It's really bad. You see, the problem with it is, is that well, it can do a, uh, it can do a lot of damage to enemies who. Are you fucking kidding me? 
He's gonna invade me again? Why? It oh, come on! Leave me alone! You're the ass who decides over long range combat and nothing else. Ah, uh, I am just. I have the worst look today. It's ridiculous. Why the hell. Oh crap! Stupid blow dark guys again. Please go away! Are oh, you gotta be kidding me? It's the same guy. Why? It. Let it go. You weak. You goddamn weirdo. All right. All right let's see. Oh crap! Where is he? Yeah, he's literally right there. Ranged battle. Ah. Ah. Leave me alone. I can't believe he's doing this again. I mean, I've heard of unlucky. This is absurd. Wait, is he dead? He just fought to his death. think he did. Well, if he's not dead, he did take some damage at least. Oh, before he comes back and get rid of you. Alright, there you go. Fuck you. There we go. He's dead. Oh, there's the Wanderers uh, set. Nice. No, seriously, is he dead? Like, is he never coming back? I need to know. Ah, uh, these things. They're not that strong, but they... They seem to be numerous. They don't really go away. Uh, he's he's got to be dead, or at least you know, run away. I can't pick up his soul if I wanted to, because well, there's nothing to pick up. Hmm. How do I get that eagle shield though? I can get it later. Like I said, I'm not going to get every single piece of equipment here because how confusing this place is. So if I don't get everything, then forgive me in advance. I'm, I'm, it's, this is a really confusing place. And there's toxic guys don't help. I'm just trying to get through best I can. I think that's it for the end of those guys. It, no, it's not him down there. There's some dogs. Yeah, if I see him. Each. God, I, of course I encounter the one player that for some reason prefers to use ranged attacks. It, uh, it's just weird. What the heck? Oh, you piece of crap. He was there the whole time.
Damn it. Fuck you! And this time stay dead. Like, piss off. Damn it. He was there the whole time! He was waiting for me! Like, the nerve! Jesus Christ! He was waiting the entire time! Like, wow! <laughs> Desperate much? <sighs> and now I've run out of S's fast. Oh, that's just great! That's just, that's just, that's just dandy! Alright, <sighs> Okay, this is fine, the save point. Save point. I mean, yeah. I know I didn't get everything, but I'm not making any more risks. And the bomb fires had to be around here somewhere. And this is where the frame rate goes to complete crap. I'm going to have to swallow my pride and use the humanity. There we go. Alright, now the bonfire is... Where is it? I swear, if he pops up again, oh, I'm going to lose it. Oh, it's literally just across here. Stupid poison. Okay, now let's see. It's from this side, so therefore, ah, yeah, I see. That was the start of a proud night. Sorry, this guy, just making sure. So, just gotta keep going through here, uh, just in case to do this. Get away. But I'm going to have humanities here. I don't want to use them up like this, but so close to the bonfire now, I don't want to waste it. Unless I know I've missed a few items. Don't remind me. Just one around here. Yeah, that was it. Found it. Oh, oh sweet relief. I'm done! I am free! Ah, uh, that, that's better. Yeah, we are kindling you. Okay. 
Okay. Ah, I know I didn't get all the items I wanted to get. There's probably a few more I missed somewhere along the way. But I will get them eventually, I promise. It's just that they're uh, going to be a little tough going through. Oh, man. Seriously? Invade by the same person twice. Well, at least I got him twice, so you know. Is that. No, it's not. It's not a trap. It's weird. It's just one single dragon scale. That's literally it. And you can get back up through here. Not really sure what the point in this one was. Maybe something else was supposed to happen here and they didn't have time or whatever. But a dragon scale is used to increase crewing which is the base dragon base. Like the Drake Sword. Which you shouldn't waste on it because there are much better weapons for a dragon base later on. But I digress. Oh man, I'm just happy to finally make it down here in one piece. Oh boy. Oh, Manny to Mindred. Yep, this is another NPC fight. There you are. If you manage to beat her, she'll help you out later in a future battle. But the thing is, she is really weak. Can you see? She barely has any defenses to help out or any attacks. Got ya. So if you weren't human then, make sure you are now. And best though, you now have a... Uh, got Mildred. And you managed to pick up her soul, which is nice. A humanity. And a butcher knife. That's pretty sweet. Also, if you manage to beat her, you can recruit her later one as a phantom during the next boss fight we're going to do. Not doing it today. Not, not today. I, uh... If the horror going through this crap, I think we're going to need a bit of a, a bit of a break. And what to do next? Also, to mention some backtracking as well to get any items that I missed along the way. Unfortunately. But there, yeah, made it, sort of. Hmm, I could at least get the rest of these items here. Oh wait, I could show you guys the shortcut back towards the um... Oh right, yeah, I could show you the shortcut that takes you back to the Valley of Drakes. I forgot about that, hmm. Actually, it is best to show that instead. Okay, so it's right around here. Be careful, you might come across those golems again. Those uh, golem monsters. But these ones are actually different because they actually carry boulders this time. So watch out for that. There's also an NPC which is around here. You can, you can give you even more powerful pyromancy. What the? We need to deep with the man need to Mildred, so I'm glad I got that out of the way. Ah, uh, yeah, I gotta jump from here to here. I remember this. It's a pain in the ass. There we go. Oh, come on. Any heat? Let's see, where do we go from here? I usually go this way, so... I mean, the entire territory here. I do go this way, but it's usually the first way around, not the other way around. The good news is, all those toxic guys are gone. Most of them, anyway. Whoa! Uh, 
Clever girl, but not good enough. What? Okay, that way leads to the actual, um, to the firekeeper's soul. Yeah, we're not doing that until later because there's a ton of them. Is that one or two? There's a lot. All of them trying to shoot for you. So ignore them for now, let's just go. You can do that if you want, but I'm telling you, it's really insane. Okay, that's enough with that purple stuff. Can we just change the subject? Oh, there we go. <sighs> yeah, how realistic. They're clipping through the walls to kill me. Oh, come on. <sighs> Are you stuck? Oh, not anymore, he's dead. There you go. Your attacks can cause, can cause the bleed style effect for the most part, but that's mostly it. I swear, if you catch me for the third time, like, what are the chances? Ah, here we go. Here, you can get the key to the London Ruins, which basically lets you, um, Which basically lets you go back to the Drake as a pooch shortcut, so that's nice. There's also a Crimson set. Where is it? Mm, where is it upward? Yeah, where's the Crimson set? Basically, it's basically a good Pyromancy set, actually. Yeah, where the heck is it? Supposed to be around here. I don't think that's it. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, I found it. Oh, that was driving me insane. Ah. And we also get a sorcery. There we go, that's the other set. I guess I do gotta drop down from somewhere. Yeah, but okay. Perhaps I missed it from somewhere. I guess man, I did have to drop down. Hmm. Okay. I see it now. That branch root. Hmm. No! And I finally died. <sighs> I'll be back once I get my souls. I'm back. And yep, this is the. Oh crap! That was the way I was supposed to go. <sighs> I noticed that when I was going down here, you see those weird annoying roots? I think I'm supposed to walk through there and then actually, um... But I guess it's a blessing in disguise, I suppose. Even though I, uh... 
But unfortunately, I couldn't pick up the rest of my souls. Yeah, I died along the way. Again. Eh, 20,000 down the drain. Get used to that feeling, because it is not a nice one. Alright, anywho, let's just get out of here now. Oh, man. I will get the other stuff, maybe at other point. But for now, let's get out of here. At least now I'm showing you guys Blight Town. But now I'm going to show you guys the easy way of getting through this whole place. For those who don't want to go through that annoyance. <sighs> you see the go through here, and you should be all good to go. Be careful with these guys. One of these enemies uh, match the uh, uses the boulder as a weapon instead. Yeah, these goblin enemies right here. What the? What's he doing? Twenty thousand down the drain. Yep. Oh no, I go both of them. Thank you, invincibility frames. And that's why you don't want to fight these guys more than once. This is why you want to fight them only find one at a time. Because of that crap. Ugh. One of these enemies is a bit different. I think it actually shows them off here. Is it around here? Hmm. I've got someone for one of them carry the boulder instead. It doesn't matter. Ah, but there we go. Next time we're going to explore the rest of Blight Town, the remaining items I missed, and uh, then go after the boss. Jeez. But after that key is for to open this gate. But if you had the master key, you can actually cut through the whole of Blight Town and completely skip all of it, as you saw. So again, completely up to you. 3,000 souls down the drain. That's Dark Souls. That is Dark Souls. But there are quite a bit though. At least I managed to get some most important stuff. Not every little bit. But apart uh, which I felt important anyway. And we got rid of those annoying toxic guys. They won't be coming back. Well, most of them anyway. So, next time, where I'm going to get the rest of stuff, um, that is, uh, uh, look, that's in Blight Town. And then I'm going to go after the boss's place. Also, there's another merchant we can meet here, too. Very important one, actually. Oh, I meant to show you that crimson set. You know, this is going to be a long one. I mean, it's in two parts, actually. But there we go. This is it right here. It's extremely light, but it also has more defenses too. So 
So like, there we go, see? Much better defenses and stuff, and it's light. Really? Oh, I guess it was those. Oh, there we go. See, there's better defenses now, too. I guess maybe you could have got these at the start of the game. But as you saw, I had no idea what these things were. I got lost for ages trying to find these things. So I guess I dodged the bullet doing that. But you can if you want to. If, but there we go. We got some. I actually got some better armor now. I had to switch it up a bit, but what can you do? So yeah, sorry about getting lost there and stuff. That's how annoying this place can be. It's just brutal. And the fact that I was invaded twice by the same person, I... It's just nuts. So, yep. Yeah. And then next time, I'm going to see what items I missed. I guess I think I missed a few. Probably not all of them, but some at least. Yeah, unfortunately. Hmm. Looking back, I think anyone might have this guy being the Eagle Shield. Actually, I think it's the only thing I didn't get. Man, it's actually not that first. You know, I think the only thing I might have missed that was of importance was the Eagle Shield. That was it. Huh. I guess I did pretty well since break. I guess I did pretty well in Blight Town. So next time I'm gonna get the Eagle suit, which I missed. <laughs> and then at the bottom part, I'm pretty much going to cover the rest of the way. As well as look for that NPC. There is an NPC down here. Hmm. And some other stuff we can get too. So, yeah, sorry, I'm just, I'm just thinking. Eh. So, sorry, I get this disjointed, I was wandering around, but that's why this light town is so annoying. That's why I need that toxic thing as well. I guess if I am it as well, then, I guess I will get that Firekeeper soul. I might as well get finish everything I can gain. I can now, since I got most of the other stuff I got so far. So. Next time, we're gonna go to the rest of Blight Town and then fight the boss. I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself. I was a bit flustered and how frustrated that went. I cannot believe I was invaded twice. With that, this is Master 347. It's always games of life, always the platformer. Stay classy.